Hello and welcome to Gravity Sketch. We're going to walk you through the basic things that you need to know to start creating in Gravity Sketch. Starting off with the drawing hand, that's the hand with the cursor and the transparent red sphere around it. Pull the trigger and you'll start sketching. Use the red sphere to intersect that sketch and the grips to grab it to move it around. You can also grab and duplicate it. To change color, press and hold your trackpad. Move your hand around while you're holding the trackpad. Release, and that's the color that you'll have when you sketch next. To delete a stroke, intersect the stroke, grab the stroke, and then push that little red button up top while you're grabbing, and you'll delete the stroke. If you just push that button independently, it works as an undo feature. To move your sketch around, use the grips on your non drawing hand. And to scale the whole sketch, Use the grip on the non-drawing hand first, and then the drawing hand. Move your hands apart and together. You can also scale individual strokes by intersecting the stroke with the transparent red sphere, grabbing it, and then with your non-drawing hand, as you're holding it, squeeze and grab with those grips. You can change the color of a stroke by intersecting it, grabbing it, and don't worry about moving on this one, because once you press the trackpad, it'll snap back into place and you can select the color that you'd like and release when you have the color that you like. Now instead of pressing to the red button to delete, you can actually roll back time. So this is the history feature that lets you go all the way back and bring things all the way forward. So we'll go all the way back and we'll kick off with another tool. So by pressing the trackpad on your non-drawing hand, you'll access the tools menu. This is the ink tool. It works with velocity or pressure. This is the revolve tool. It's a two-handed gesture, so you pull the left trigger first. If you half pull, you could snap, and that sets your axis. Then with the drawing hand, you can sketch revolve around that axis. Next tool is the curved surface tool. It's another two-handed gesture. So pull the left trigger first, or the non-drawing hand's trigger first. Then you'll get a preview. Let's actually change the color so you can see that preview a bit better. You get a preview of the line. And then when you pull your drawing hand's trigger, you'll actually start to create a surface. Now as you move your arms together and apart, you can influence the thickness. And if you pitch your arms, you can actually influence the curvature. We'll grab that and move that out of the way as well. Change color. And this is the planar surface right below it. So the planar surface works similarly with the revolve as a two-handed gesture. So pulling the non-drawing hand's trigger, you can set your plane. If you half pull, you can snap the plane. Let's make it perpendicular. And this is actually works as a fill. So it creates a solid surface on that plane. And you could change the plane and create another solid surface here. We'll grab this object, change its color. And let's look at the next tool. So the last tool here is the primitives tool. So with this tool, you can create cubes, spheres, pyramids, all kinds of shapes. It's a two-handed gesture, so you pull the left trigger first, and then the right trigger, and before releasing, you can move your hands around. And you're, what you're doing is you're influencing all dimensions of that cube by the way that your hands are moved diagonally. And when you release, you'll have the geometry. So those are the basic tools. Now to edit some of this geometry, if you're not quite content, you can actually grab the geometry. Don't worry about moving because it will snap back into place when you push this blue button. The blue button with the icon above it allows you to access the control points. Each one of these control points can be grabbed and manipulated, can be deleted, or you can add additional control points to keep influencing the piece of geometry that you have selected. With this particular tool, you can also extrude it. So the curve, the, the, the planar surface allows you to have a bit of an extrude there. You can also change the cross section. So now I have sharper edges. And you can also reduce the number of control points to make a slightly smoother shape or piece of geometry. That same thing works across all tools. 
and all pieces of geometry in the app. Even the primitives, you can manipulate after you've created them. And the great thing with the ink tool, the stroke tool, you can actually influence the thickness by using the trackpad while you're grabbing one of the control points. So this is really great to add some style to some of the, the more artistic strokes. And we'll show the revolve as the last one here. Now there's loads more features in, in the application, and to access some of those features, you'll actually need to open up another menu. So pushing the blue button on the non-drawing hand accesses the save menu. The save menu allows you to take a screenshot. So we'll go ahead and do that. So here you can change your perspective. And push the blue button on the non-drawing hand to take the screenshot. And the X to escape. You can also turn on a mirror play with your grid, change the density of the grid, and hop into different scenes or different environments. So here we have a studio, and we have a high dynamic range room here. We'll go back to the beginning. You can bring in 2D images. Same way that you grab everything else in the application, you'll insert the, intersect the image, grab it, and scale it up, and you can put it into your environment. You could also bring in your own geometry. So let's say I wanted to bring in a chair. I've uploaded this, and now I'm going to add this to my scene. We offer a few stock pieces of content to help you get started on your own. We have a great layer system here as well. So anything that you see with the green bar along the bottom, that means you can grab it and move it off of your hand. So we'll grab this layers and system and move it off of our hand. We can also scale it up just a bit. And right now we have two layers. So to move things from one layer to the next, because it looks like everything is on our layer one, grab it and shove it into the funnel for layer two. Let's do that with this piece of geometry as well. And you'll get a little highlight. And then when you release, it's on that layer. So the toggle here on this layer allows you to change its visibility. So we can turn things all the way off. We can make them transparent. Or we can make them fully opaque. So for this exercise, we'll make them transparent. So those are the basic tools in Gravity Sketch and your layer system. There's loads more things to explore in the application, and we're happy to take any requests for tutorials. Hope you enjoy using the tool.